Now, boxing fans at the Doncaster Dome tomorrow night could be forgiven for thinking they're seeing double. It's because while at the top of the low bill, local lad Jamie McDonald defends his European bantamweight title, down on the undercard, his identical twin brother Gavin is making his second professional appearance. John Shires has been to meet them. They look alike, sound alike and box alike. The only difference is that Jamie's a European champion and Gavin's just starting out. He gave up the game eight years ago after just five amateur fights, but got the bug again after seeing his twin brother's success. Are you ready? Always thinking I wanted to do it, but never really doing nothing about it. And then I, I think last year I just must have thought that I'm having a bit of that, you know what I mean? My last fight was about five or six months ago when he said, oh, you know, I want to come back, I want to do all this. And then now look at him six months down the line, he's boxing on my undercard, you know, so he's pulled his finger out and he's gone and done it. So what was it? Booze and birds? <laughs> <laughs> just going out with lads and yeah, basically, yeah. Do you think you could be as good as him? Yeah, why not? That's how I see it. I always said to him, I, I could be as good as you. If I'd have stuck at it, I would, no, no doubt I'd be there or thereabouts where, where he is. And where Jamie is, he's making a second defence of his European bantamweight title against combative Belgian Stefan Jamoy. Another step on the road to a world title challenge. This will make me, you know, he's a really good kid, world class. With the last fight, people knocked it a bit, saying he won up to scratch. But this kid is world class. Uh, so, you know, do a job on this kid and, uh, and my name's up there, you know what I mean? He's improving all the time. I think he'll win a world title in the next 12, 18 months. And what about Gavin, who's taking on durable Welsh featherweight Chuck Jones? How far can he go? It might be that as Jamie hopefully moves on to the world scene and gets a world title, that he can cop for Jamie's old belts. The twins do spar together, but what about one day fighting for real? If ITV fancied it <laughs> and they were willing to put the, the money instead of paying Simon Cowell all this money, and they fancied it, I'm sure they'd make it, we could make it happen. Once a promoter, always a promoter. But according to the McDonald's, it's not a realistic prospect. I don't think it's good. Don't feel good eating them. No, I wouldn't fight each other. Even in sparring, you don't want to hurt each other, you know. So I couldn't imagine uh, fighting him, you know, for money or anything. So no, I'll never fight him. I don't know whether this is history or not. I'm sure there's a boxing aficionado out there who can tell me, but tomorrow night at the Doncaster Dome, twins will be fighting on the same bill. They are Jamie and Gavin McDonald, who are from the town. All being well, Jamie is looking to get a world title shot later this year, while Gavin is just starting out on his professional career. Jamie McDonald, European and Commonwealth bantamweight champion. Now play spot the difference with Gavin McDonald about to have his second professional bout. I'm the boss and I'm the oldest. Nine minutes, not, not, I won't say too much though, is it? Nine minutes. Does he keep reminding you of it though? No, never. Never, never even comes in. I, half the time I, I act a lot older, so that we just know. I, I look older and act older. Yeah, man. We do everything together, we work together. We lived together up to a couple of years ago. Uh, you know, we do everything together. Well, he's all right, sound, yeah, gets me, he does everything, I just seem to follow him, everything, everything he does, same back into boxing. Both fought as amateurs, but while Gavin dropped out of the sport, Jamie has gone on to become European and Commonwealth champion. His success has drawn Gavin back into boxing, but it's the first time they've been on the same bill. Hopefully I get to our kids fight and, you know, cheer him on, but I've got to more or less doubt it, like. Do you think you'll be nervous for it? Yeah, more than nervous. On his last fight, you know, I, I just want to be in the ring doing it with Sand and then him doing it because I sound nervous. Or... You do, you get nervous. Like, I'm getting nervous for his fight. And, and then I've got my fight as well. I might even thought, I'm thinking, oh, I get nervous for his fight, so I'm getting nervous for his fight. And then I'm thinking, do you think I'm going to fight as well? With the guys at very different stages of their career, they get rather different briefs on their opponent. Jamie knows he's in for a tough night against Belgium's Stefan Jamoy. This will get my name up there, you know. Um, he's a really good kid, world class. So hopefully do a job on this kid, and you know, and hopefully get a world title fight more or less near the end of the year. And Gavin, uh, what's your opponent like? To be honest, we don't really know much about him. It's just like basically, he's Welsh, small and stocky in game. That's all we get to go on. <laughs> what more do you need to know? All in all, it's going to be a big night for Team Mac, and that includes the family. My mum will be in bits. I would have thought, wouldn't she? So good doing it. 
Glad when it's all over for her. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, definitely for us all, eh? They won't be fighting each other, I hasten to add.